Okay, welcome back to um, another tutorial in Maya. Basically, this is part two of the modeling of the pencil. Now we're going to do our unwrap. So, delete that. And then we're going to rotate this back to zero. So this is where we have our pencil. And then what we can do is shrink this down to maybe an appropriate size. So, uh, maybe a little smaller. And then have it there. Let's see if we can put this down where we need it. No. That's pretty good. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> Before I do anything, I just want to straighten this out. Making sure that it's all perfectly symmetrical and lined. Okay. Alright, so once we have set our, you know, sent our pencil up, then this is where we can kind of go in and select our faces and see what we can do as far as unwrapping it. I'm probably going to try doing a, uh, I'm going to try doing a planar map first, and if that doesn't work, then maybe I might do a centrical unwrap. So, now the tricky part is how you start this. So, basically, if you want, you can select these three faces, these three, and then these three down here, go all the way down to about here. So there's your, there's kind of like a start to it. And if you want, you can go up and select this section right here. And then maybe you can do one more over here on the right, left, on the uh, right side or whatever. And then it leaves you with. Uh, leaves you about leaves you kind of even. I'm trying to perfectly align this. See, so I've got four selected. So maybe what I could do is deselect the ones that I do have. So since I've got three selected here, maybe I'll just go with this for now. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is open up my UV texture editor and then I'm going to do a, a planar map first. Planar map looks a little, I don't want to say, but doesn't really do well. So what I could do is go back up as I create UVs, go to planar mapping, go to the option bar right here. And uh, instead of going from the Y axis, we can go from the X axis and then project it. And then we can just kind of shape it out to about right there. And that looks pretty good. You know, I kind of, I actually kind of like that right as it is. You know, everything's pretty settled. So, um, I think I might just go with this for the sake of expediency, really, because I don't think it really warrants anything dramatic as far as this. Let's see. But we, what we could do, though, is go in here and just fix some of these UVs up. So what we could do is go to Vertex, fix some of these up. Oh, about there. Oops, not vertex. Go to UVs. I meant. Ah, I got to fix, fix that up. Fix that. Fix that. Go on to here. Fix these up. Go on to there and fix that. That looks pretty good. Because what you want is you want your UVs to be pretty straight, so when you go to texture it, you'll have an easier time. Uh, you'll have an easier time, you know, modeling it or not modeling it, texturing it, because it does get a little tricky when it comes down to it. So sort of eyeballing it as much as I can. Alright, there's one. Oops. There's one. Select this down here. Select that down here. Uh, probably go take that right. Take this. Move that down. Take these UVs. Move that up. Take these UVs. Move it up. And select this UV right here on this edge, right here, on this edge of the pencil. And then you're going to go up, and then select this, 
And then I guess just probably move it in. Or... I move it out actually, so you don't want to ruin its shape. Okay. Uh, oh, ooh, it doesn't look right. Let's see how we can fix this. It's a little tricky here. You just have to find a way to shape in these out. Uh, looks pretty good. See, so a lot of this is kind of just going you going in yourself and doing it and just tweaking it, you know. So, all right, straighten that out. Straighten that out. Okay, so this looks pretty good. All right, so we have the basic unwrap of this section first. Now the only downside to basically unwrapping, planar unwrapping, is you have you only get one section of it. Now you have to actually go in and get the other side. So what I usually do to make myself remember what I selected is I reselect everything I selected before. So what I do is I select everything, and I mean everything you selected initially. Okay, so I selected those. Now I know exactly what I did not select as far as these. So now I know what to select. So uh, now you just go in here, select each one. And there you go. And don't worry, we will get the head. We will get the uh, the head, so that is not a problem. So I did not forget. All right. So now once you did that, do another planar map, and then go to UVs. Uh, go press R. Just kind of straighten that part out right there, and then just move that aside over here. So now you got the other half of the pencil. So, just kind of making sure I selected each one. Sometimes I do have the tendency to forget. One, two, three. I might have forgot to select this one, I think. Yeah, I didn't seem I got all of it. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't get all of it. Okay, there we go. So now, see now it looks a lot better than what it did initially. Okay, so now we have basically the second part. So we basically have the entirety of the pencil all straightened out. Now, obviously, this is kind of just go it requires you to just go in and fix some of these. Uh, I just fix some of these up and whatnot. It's pretty simple, not too complicated. So just fix those up, fix those up, fix that up, straighten those out. Okay, once you've done that, now you have to go on to your bottom piece, select that face, and then we have to select these faces right here. I'll get those later, actually. All right, so I have that. Now select that face. So we have these faces selected. Planar map those. Oh, oops. Not planar map. No, hold on. Can't planar map those. Okay, so now I have to go to the bottom. Or what I can do is just do it, do it each one. I can do each one separately. Just takes a little longer, it's all. So, or we can just do an automatic projection. Just just works as as well. So all right. So there's the top piece, and then we just got to get the bottom piece. Okay. Do another planar map or uh, automatic projection. 
All right, so now we have that selected. So we have basically the top and the bottom. Just remember which ones are which. Okay, and now the last part would be to do this. Select each faces right here. Okay. Oops. So now once you have that selected, do another automatic projection. Just bring that over here, make sure where that goes. And there you go. Okay, so now you have basically your unwrap of the pencil. Just kind of fix these up a bit. Just make sure they're perfectly aligned and whatnot. If you want, actually, I should have showed you this before, or I should have told you this before, but if you want, you can go in and, just to make sure you did this right, you can change the texture of the pencil to a, um, basically to a checkerboard, because what will that do is it will give you exactly um, a fine-tuned um, outline of how well you out how well you basically um, unwrapped it. So, and if it lines up pretty well as far as you know everything looking just right, then you did a pretty good job. And this looks pretty good. So, um, yeah. So this looks you, you can tell if you did it wrong if you did it wrong if it like looks way out of line like the pattern doesn't match up. So, but yeah, this looks pretty good. So and whatnot. Because that's the only downside to having to, you know, unwrap is, you know, this is just a little technique I use, or a little, just, it, it helps. Like, yes, it's a little inconvenient, but at the same time, though, you will definitely make less errors while doing this. Okay, so before we end this, let's just select all this. And there they are. And then what you can do is you can go and put these back in. So, what you want to do is go to UVs. Uh, if you want to turn off the checkerboard, just click on this guy right here, and then there, and then it goes away. Okay, so there are your two ob to your there are your pencil. You know, there's that line. So we can just kind of move those in there into the one by zero by one or zero by one space. Okay, and then these are the bottom pieces. This is remember the top. So let's put the top maybe at the top. Kind of seems logical practical I meant. Um, let's see, then we can uh, put this one at the bottom. So these don't have to be very big. So and then this is the uh, thing. Oh, just to kind of clarify, if you want to know how to select the entire thing without having to just select each pair like this or try to go like, you know, you know, have it's like maybe it intersects or overlaps one of your um, one of your unwrapped objects, what you can do is press for Mac users, you can press control, and I think this go applies to PC users as well, just press control, click, and then two shell, right click, and then two shell, control, right click, two shell, and then it selects the entire thing. So it makes it a little easier and a lot more fast paced as far as work uh, work progress. So, all right, so once you have basically this entire um, unwrapped object all ready to go. All you do is, what I'm going to do is probably just go on my set, do it myself and just uh, organize it a bit. But once you have it, select it all, go to polygons, then you do a UV snapshot, and then you're going to basically name it. I do t make sure the size is divisible by 2, so 1024 by 1024. Uh, the higher the quality, 256 by 256, 5, uh, 512 by 512. Make sure it's divisible by, by 2. JPEG, it has to be the image format. Um, and then just press OK, but you have to have all this selected in order for it to work, otherwise you will not get it. So anyway, this is uh, part two concluded, and I will go on to part three for the texturing of the pencil. So hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know. Otherwise, take care.